Skydiving is a really interesting confront with fear. And in that moment, you realize you've never been in a freaking airplane with the door open. You go out the night before and you, you know, you take a drink with your friends and somebody says, yeah, we should go skydiving tomorrow. And you go, yeah, we'll go skydiving tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, and you go, yeah, and everybody goes, yeah. And you go home, by, you by yourself, you're like, hmm. <laughs> right, you're like, well, I mean, they, they was drunk too. <laughs> You're terrified, you keep imagining over and over again jumping out of an airplane and you can't figure out why you would do that. And you're standing there and the guys will tell you, well, if the chute doesn't open, what's gonna happen is you're doing, you, well, well, why the hell, why, what could happen? <laughs> People start going out of the airplane. You're standing and your toes are on the edge and you're looking out down to death. On three. One. Two. And he pushes you on two because people grab on three. In one second, you realize that it's the most blissful experience of your life. You're flying. You realize that the point of maximum danger is the point of minimum fear. God placed the best things in life on the other side of fear. The lesson for me was, why were you scared in your bed the night before? What do you need that fear for?